Hello and welcome. How are you doing, my friend? Today I like to show you that how to check that what kind of defects and issues is just now in my car, or what or what issues there has been in before, and how to do that testing. And now this is my diagnosis test covers these Toyota's engines what are types this US 7A and then also this this 4A engine engines diagnostic system and what we need to do next first we open bonnet and then we look in that area in this my car in here and this area is air filter cover what I have take out and here is diagnostic that kind of this black box what we need to open and this opening happens so easily that when we look that little bit closer in there it is I need to only insert my finger in that knob a little bit release and there is this system and then let's go to look that diagnostic thing more okay and there is this diagnostic view and when we look in there inside, there is some text in here when we look that area. And it's important because next when we are planning to check that what kind of defects we have, we need to do some cable and, and actually wire. And for that job, we need to get in some some place the standard this is this electric cable what we have in our cars and any place an idea is that there must be this copper copper in their inside and and next I need to connect that point and that point together because then I, I turn on this diagnostic system and now Now I have I have I have in in here this ready electric cable in that part what I have made and let's look that a little bit more we need this kind of small copper wire and we can do that so that we have some cable any electric cable is okay and then we need knife or if we have the specific tool that we can take that that cable out we only press that in this way and then I move that and there we have this fresh copper cable and then I little bit rotate that in this way and then when I insert that in here this is the first position I need to do similar connection in that other way and now I have this my wire ready and this position is that when we have this diagnostic system there is text diagnostic in there that we look in here inside and there are those those uh, comments in there in that area and I need to connect this there is this TE TE let's look can I can I see better TE and E1 E1 so it actually T3 and here there is T3 and E1 and these are those two cables that one and then that one and I need to connect there is small copper part in inside and let's go to look closer that what I am planning to do next there is this there is this my target in there okay and now this my there is my target and now this my cable and there is my cable what I need to do and one side is okay and then I do the second 
second side also and soon we have this this cable and, and I cut that little bit and then I do this my cable ready a little bit working okay and now this my cable is ready and then I rotate these sides that they are nice nice and then I connect these two places that one this one in here and this is like second row in here and then this third row that area in here and then note that these cables must be sharp in that way that they goes only one hole not two holes and now when I connect this now this connection is ready and then we check also that what are those my cable points and we go to look that closer that what are these places now there's now there's better view that we can look that what is this there are those comments can be seen there inside there's like T T E and I one in here. It is difficult to see, but same map in here as in here. Maybe we can see something. Okay. And then we check that. Okay, and now this connection is ready and then we go to insert our cars key to on position. Okay, and now we are in inside and then I I use my car key, what is in here and I insert that in this slot in there and then then other important thing is that I need to insert this my car's driving position in this N or P position remember that P or neutral and it is fine and then when I insert my keys on we should see in here something in there okay and now it's blinking and this is the idea because now when we look at area this diagnostic tool sent like Morse Morse message Morse, Morse signals and and then we need to analyze that what is this message and there is idea that that this this warning light sends like two set of those those signal and then there is pause now it's sending now now there is now there is pause and now I need to calculate one two three three times and then one and that means that this and then when it 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 shows that there is many issues and this is like zero point and then it sends one two three and then it normally sends first number is this first single and then the second number is second and then small pause and then next issue and now I think that I start to analyze that I have many issues there now it start 1 2 20 and then 1 21 is one diagnostic issue 1 2 20 1 2 22 is the second 1 2 3 and one thirty one is also one two three four one and forty one is is the fourth 
I have four issues. One, two, twenty, and one. Twenty-one is one diagnostic issue. Then one, twenty, twenty-four. One, two, three. Uh, sorry, two. Twenty-two is second. One, two, three, and one. And thirty-one is third issue. Then one, two, three, and four, and one. And forty-one is the final issue. And I take my paper and I, I write down those. We continue soon. Okay, and now I have inherited this paper and there is diagnostic issues and then I write down those issues. Okay, and this first one is I start to remember. Now it starts one, two, three, four, forty, one, forty-one is one, forty-one, and then one, two, twenty, and one, twenty-one is one, one, two, and one, two, twenty-two is second, third, one, two, three, and one, and thirty, one is one, two, three, four, and, and fun. It, it is in here. Okay, it is there. And then again, it start. First one is twenty-one. One, two, and one, and then twenty-two. One, two, one, twenty-two, and then next one is thirty-one. One, two, three, and one. It's in here, and this final one is 41, one, two, three, four, and then one. Okay, and there is all 41, 20, 1, 22, and 31. And check that again. That art is okay. And one. And now it start again. One, two, twenty, and one. It is in here. Then second one, two, and then one, two, twenty, and one, twenty-one. Okay. One, two, twenty, one, two, twenty-two. This in here. And third one, two, three, thirty. And one, thirty-one is in here. And four, final is one, two, three, four, forty, and one, forty-one. Okay, so I have these defects in here, and then there is one ant in running in there in my desk, small ant. Okay, and then then we go to check that what are these. Issues. Okay, and I had in this my Toyota Corolla car these diagnostic issues. What were this 41 and then 21, 22 and 31. And then I need to get some repair, repair handbook handbook or internet internet and and I go to look these diagnostic issues in internet page in Google search next and let's go to look at what I can found okay and here is my this cell phone and now I am in internet and there is paid what name is trouble codes and here I can see that my codes were this 41, 21, 22, 31. And then check that there is this right engine side. And there is this engine 4A and this 7A engines. And let's look in that side that what is this first one is this uh, uh, 21. What I had in my list in there 21. And 21 means that he did 
oxygen sensor front seat circuit and that means that I have issue in that area and second is 22 and engine coolant temperature sensor there is also issue in that area and then 31 31 is in here it is manifold absolute pressure map sensor circuit there is issue and then 41 is there in that one throttle position sensor circuit TP circuit okay and then it says that it is wearing TP sensor ECM and these are those possible issues and now I think that I have quite many issues wearing it's like cables map sensor ECM and when I replace this part then this issue should disappear and go away and then there was this 22 wearing ECM sensor ECM and then 21 wearing sensor sensor and ECM is the central unit okay and now I have found those things and, and remember it was in trouble course in Google and then there was some person they have added in here even some this extra information and in that way and there is also this connection point okay good and, and I found this in internet page and there is actually trouble codes dot net is this array okay good and then when I have found those my issues I need to go to repair that and these are of course new videos but then let's go to take this my cable away okay and there is my cable and now when I have found those my issues final step is to take this cable out because this is like spare part and then I close this my thing and then I start to think that what kind of issues I have because I had four defects okay and this was this information and thank you for watching that video and have a nice day to you okay and now when we are planning to do this reset we need to take that cable out and for that job we need 10 millimeter one zero millimeter friends what which in that bolt and then I open that bolt and I lift that minus cable out and then I need to wait something like 20 seconds that this Toyota's engine reset it will be resetted and then when 20 seconds has been gone I can install this cable back and then remember when we take that cable out our radio settings will be reset and also clock settings are reset but also this diagnostic and engine defects are away okay and then we fasten that bolt back and then we go to look that what our engines warning lights looks next an expressionistic engine fiber light.